Hello everybody, this is Tekka. I was recently scurrying one of my favorite websites here, OMG Ubuntu, and apparently Dash to Panel for GNOME has gotten quite a big update, including the ability to turn it into a dock. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. If you've ever watched any of my old videos going over like a GNOME customization, you may know that this right here, Dash to Dock, is one of my favorite extensions. And if there is another dock application that we can use, and one as uh, popular and customizable as this, it is great. Dash to Dock has its own issues here and there, and Dash to Panel is very customizable. The first time I've actually used Dash to Panel was with a Nobara Linux. It's actually the kind of default, one of their default customizations that they got going on, and, and it's pretty good. So with that, this right here is the uh, GNOME Extension Manager, if you're interested. And I've already downloaded Dash to Panel here, so let's go ahead and enable it. And there we go. Now we can have a, we have a more traditional bottom uh, panel, but I don't want this to be a panel. I want to check it out as a dock. So we're going to dive into the application settings here. And I do believe that right here, the panel length, that is a new option so we can shorten it up. So if I go ahead and manually do it, you can see it's going to shrink it down a bit like so, or I can set dynamic, which will just keep it like this. So there's not really any wasted space, but I like to waste a little bit of space. So let's go ahead and set this to something like maybe 80%. There we go. That looks pretty good for me. We have the thickness here. So if I wanted it to be any taller, for example, I could do that. That looks horrible. Let's go 40. Let's go 64. Just so you all can see it better. There is an anchor. So for some reason, if I wanted it like to the left, I, I could do that if I want to, but let's stick with center here. If I scroll down, we have some orders of things, but I'm not going to change that for now. We have our intelligent hide, so if I enabled that and then like brought that down, it should go ahead and hide it for us. But I'm going to disable that for now, and let's go over to style. So here we have the border radius, and I do believe that's what's going to give us the actual effect of the roundedness. So yeah, there we go, that's 4 pixels. And if I go to 12, nice, and then 16. Cool, so now it's looking more like a pill. So now we're gonna go ahead and mess with the margins and everything to make it look good. So app icon margin. Okay, so that's just spreading it out. We have the icon padding, which eight looks good for me right there. Uh, we have animate hovering app icons. So like if you've ever used, what is it? Uh, uh, Plank, I believe, on Linux. It's This is kind of a similar effect, an old school kind of Mac OS thing. You could see the icons jumping up for us. If I go ahead and go to settings, we can uh, change and edit exactly how that works. So like zoom, if I did want it to zoom a little bit, maybe 130, close that out. There we go. Now they're uh, getting a little bit bigger when I hover over them. Now down here under panel style, this is where we have some of our margins and padding. So side margins, I can add a little bit to that just to give me a little more space there. We have the top and bottom margins which this one I do believe if I bump it up to like 12 pixels, there we go. That's how we kind of get a, a floating dock effect. So that's looking really good. We have side, side padding, top and bottom padding. Right here we have override panel theme background color. So we could change this if we wanted to, to something ugly like purple. Or if I want to override uh, panel transparency, I could enable that and have my own custom transparency set like so and there's a dynamic one here to change the panel opacity a lot of the some of these features aren't new the oh that's really nice the main one is kind of just having it floating here as a pilled dock now that's kind of the main primary thing really excited about everything that we just customized and did but now i'm going to dive into some more of the newer features as featured on this uh, omg ubuntu article so for that we're going to go over here to action and right here under click action so behavior when clicking the icon of a running application you could actually configure and customize how that is going to go so you can toggle the windows raise it launch a new instance of it but this right here is new toggle single spread multiple so then like for example if i had a uh, terminal client open right here and I am to click on the single instance and it's just going to come up on top. But if I have multiples open and then I click on it, it's going to spread all the windows that I have available to me. So then I can get a nice overview and be able to pick specifically which one of this group of windows that I want to access. 
And then over here under style icon style gray style gray scale is a new addition if that is a particular style you're going for. And another thing, it's possible to edit the panel context menu entries. So if I right click on here, you could see we have files, system monitor, these two right here. But if I want to add some more, for example, I could get rid of this. Let's add one. So here we have our text and then a specific command. So for text, what should I do? Okay, cool, we'll do that. <laughs> so let's say I wanted this to be Gnote for some reason. I would just run the Gnote command. Boop, boop, there we go. So now if I right click on here, you'll see Gnote. So if I click on that, it will then launch Gnote. So super cool stuff and the what you could do with that is up to your own personal creativity and customization. Now for the rest of this short video, we're gonna go back to the article that I found this out on. And down here is a nice little summary at a glance. So we have the additional settings to support the dock style setups, which you checked out, grayscale icons, IntelliJahide, or IntelliHide, will remember the last state between restarts. We have the context panel menu editing. We also have hotkey number overlays can now be shown on every monitor. Per monitor settings have been more consistently, or are more consistent, should say, across X11 and Wayland, notification badges, GNOME 48 support, and various visual improvements. Watch this links to everything that you could see here to get a nice little before after of those specific visual improvements. I will note, if I go down here to the comments, thankfully there are comments, right here, blur my shell users beware does not handle right with new positioning, so you may have some issues with that. People are having issues with caffeine not working anymore. So that is just something that's kind of important to note. Uh-oh. Looks like the developer just quit due to a controversy with the donation button. Of course it is. Get out of here. I'll be passing the dash to panel torch. Please let me know if you're interested in contributing to the project. Oh, no. Ooh, so somebody was mad that the developer wanted support for his project. It dumped an animated icon on my panel in the primary position where most of my launcher normally is. This is candid feedback, so it's just kind of in the way, doesn't know how to change it, doesn't seem too drama. Oh, edit tone down a little. <laughs> Pretty mixed bag of positive and negative, negative feedback here. Disruptive UI change, uh, no force donation pop-ups. I mean, I don't see any donation anything on mine. Wonder if it was removed. Well, I understand you, damn, there are a lot of heated people in here. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Homie dropped the best update and said, I'm leaving. <laughs>